you guys had a good night's sleep i hope you woke up today feeling happy safe and peaceful thank you to everyone that has liked commented subscribed and gave donations all right piscianos happy what's today monday my cards are out I had to stop the video so i'm just gonna start it over again all right spirit angels ancestors and higher beings please help me with this message today for my beautiful pi sees people my piscianos what messages do we have for pisces we got number 23 confidence it comes with time and practice i was here that alan iverson practice we're talking about practice yes it comes with practice. Um, so there's something in your life that is kind of scary. It's like an unknown place. Like, where am I headed? Where am I going? This is a new place for me. I've never been here before. This is different. I'm doing something that's out of my comfort zone. Um, but you are definitely headed in that direction. Even though you shake a little, even though you may be a little bit worried about the outcome, you're, you're, there's a confidence that still exudes inside of you that is telling you that you can do this. You can accomplish this you know a lot of times people don't realize that everyone gets scared it's like the way i'm feeling it is um you know like when you're an actor or an actress and you get stage fright right like you get the jitters or something like and you know but you still go out there and you do it you know because you know this is what you're supposed to be doing so that's how i'm feeling this energy pisces i do feel like you are practicing your, you know, whatever your craft is, whatever um, this new beginning or this new life is for you, you're definitely practicing, you're definitely um, doing things in a repetitive manner. That's how I'm feeling. Like me, maybe this is like working out, maybe this is eating a certain way. It's becoming very repetitive is what I'm feeling, which is good because you keep doing something, it becomes a routine. And then the routine helps you to become, you know, to get you to where you want to go. So this could mean that you're working really hard it could mean that you're you're fixing your schedule in order for you to accomplish everything that you need to do within a day. It does seem scary at first until you get the routine and the practice down packed. I do have the Queen of Wands here, Pisces, for what you don't see coming. Queen of Wands exudes confidence. She is all about confidence. She knows she's sexy. She knows people want her. She knows that she can accomplish anything. This is for what you don't see coming. How is it that you go from a person that just heard the calling inside of her? You know, and I'm feeling it more. Like the calling inside of her was, I don't belong here. There's something else for me out there. These people that I'm surrounded by, they I don't like what they talk about. I don't like how they live their lives. I don't I feel like I want more. I know that I want more. Like I can hear God talking to me and telling me to move in this direction. And that's what I'm doing. So yes, it's nerve wracking because you haven't been there before. Because I think you came from a place where you just wanted to belong for a while. But then you finally realize, Pisces, like I don't belong here. That's why you never belonged as a child. You know, when I feel you as the outsider in groups where you wanted to be part of a clique or part of a group and you always saw yourself not fitting in or you felt yourself not fitting in i think you were right you felt it correctly you didn't fit in you were the oddball but sometimes it takes the oddball in order to do or accomplish something big in life so if you look back at where those people are today that you were trying to fit in with, I don't think it's something that you would choose or want to fit in with them, you know, in this time right now is how I'm feeling this. I don't know. I don't know if that means that this group of people, you may run into them or this person, you may run into them and you're going to see like, 
Yeah, I'm really glad that I listened to myself and my internal compass and I moved away from you people or this situation because you guys are pretty much just where I left you or in a worst off place. That's how I'm feeling this, Pisces. Um, I love the Queen of Wands here, definitely, because I do feel where you're going to be in a place where you know you're the, you're the ish. You know you're the ish. And I don't know if that means you're just going to keep accomplishing. You're going to keep putting yourself in situations that look scary and you're just going to keep beating it. You know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, okay, like you keep going on stage, right? Like the actor. And at first you get the jitters. At first you get the jitters. Next thing you know, with practice and time, it's like you can act at the drop of the dime. Somebody says, oh, act like this. Or pretend here's your role right now and you just bang it out. You just do it, Pisces. That's how I'm feeling this energy, which I absolutely love to go from a scared person, but still knowing that this is the direction they have to go to somebody that be like, come on, sing now. Like it's do or die in this moment and you need to sing for your life and then you just sing. You know, that's how I'm getting this energy. All right, I do have the lovers here, Pisces. This is like... You're either having a big passion for someone or something. You're in love with possibly your future or who you're becoming or a person in your life. So I do feel like where there may be someone that is asking you to take the extra step or take the extra mile to be with them and use discernment with that Pisces. I feel that sometimes people do things because they want to keep you with them. And I think you have a higher calling in your life where you hear things that most people don't. So sometimes people want to trap the pretty bird or like, you know, when somebody plucks a pretty flower and they, they take it out of the ground, but it's like it wasn't blooming yet. It wasn't done yet. It needed more water. It needed more time. You need to leave it as is. If you really love Pisces, you're going to leave Pisces in the ground growing until you know, whatever happens at the end happens at the end. But sometimes people, when they love someone, they want to covet something. And that's what I'm getting here with the eight of swords. They want to covet it. You know, it's almost a feeling of, and I'm just giving an example of somebody that tries to get you pregnant or, or have a baby with you. You know, oh, I'm just hearing that song, have a baby by me now and be a millionaire. Have a baby by me now and be a millionaire. Um, I do feel like there's someone that comes from some type of wealth that may try to trap you in some way. It's not just the baby. It does feel that way, though. So be very careful, especially if you guys are in that place where you can get pregnant, because there's a lot of sexual attraction here on the table. Um, but there's other ways you can trap people, right? I don't really know. But yes, I do feel the energy of people that want to try. They know you're the gold standard. I just heard that the gold standard. They know there's something inside of you that is about to blow and not just that they can feel where other people are constantly looking at you and desiring you and so it honestly makes you more attractive pisces when everybody else wants you that makes you more attractive but it's not just the physical there's also that confidence level that you control the room i don't know i'm seeing a room now where you walk in and everyone's paying attention to you. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everyone kind of floats your way. Yes, even the introverted ones. I'm feeling my introverted Pisces. I'm one too. Hello. But there's a, a mystique. There's a, a desire. And people, even if you don't say a word, they know they want to approach you and talk to you. And when they do, and if they do, because not everyone can build up the confidence to do it, this is this takes strength to build up confidence and to talk to someone as well. It takes strength. So not everyone can do it, Pisces, but you can. And anyway, when I, I'm feeling like when they do speak to you, the people that can muster the strength and the confidence up to speak to you, they're they're very pleased with what they hear. So this could be at work too, Pisces. Like I'm feeling like speak up. There's a, you know, and you'll know the right time. Keep the mystique going because I can feel the mystique, Pisces. People, people know that you're the strong, silent type. When you have something important to say, you're going to say it and people will listen because they've been curious for a while to know what it is that you're thinking. What are your feelings on this? What are your thoughts on this? 
that's how I'm getting all of that. I do have the page of wands here, Pisces. And I don't know if you could see in this picture that there's a bunch of butterflies. This page of wands is also the energy of um, attraction and um, confidence and allure. Yes, we have a lot of confidence on the table, but she's like throwing out butterflies. Like you make people feel better. You show people there's a creative side of you that uplifts a person. Now, what's that creative side? Let's just say you're good at storytelling or you're good at um, pointing out the good aspects in a person. Like you can see the good aspects in a person. Now, that has been a gift and a curse, Pisces, because sometimes you can overlook all the negativity that a person has and then you pull out that really good thing about them. And for some of them, they grow from that. That's a gift. It is a, it is a gift. Some people can, some people can flourish because it's like Pisces saw something in me that I couldn't even see in myself. And when I, when Pisces told me about that, I was able to, to become a better person, to see something different, to feel, to, to change my life because someone saw something in me that I couldn't see within myself. So you sprinkle beauty, you sprinkle confidence. Like it's almost like a woman, and which I love because there's a lot of female energy here. And when that female is not so, they don't have an ego where they can't help another female out, where they can't, you know, they, they share all their beauty tips. It's an example. Or they, they fix that other woman's crown. Or they bless that woman with some form of a come up, like there's a job opportunity, and then they say, hey, let me help you out. That's, that's a real one, Pisces. And that's what I'm feeling you are. Why? Because you know what it's like to start from nothing. And so you're that person that gives others the confidence and tells them that if I can do it, you can do it. And let, let's go. You got to take that first step. You pull it out of people. That's how I'm feeling it. Like, you pull it out of people. All right, let me see what else. All right, let's go deeper. Ace of Wands. More Wands, Pisces. A lot of sexual attraction. A lot of um, creativity. A lot of confidence. I love it. All right, let's see here. So we got the Ace of Wands. See that? Ideas, thoughts, imagination, Pisces. You come up with things. You're an inventor at heart. Believe it or not, you are an inventor. You're the, you're the creative soul that can come up with new things in life that make people say, that was dope. I don't know. I just heard that. That was really dope. That was really cool. Did you just come up with that right now? Did you just think of that right now? Were you the first person to think of that right now? Because you know what? I'm going to LLC it. I'm going to, um, you know, is that what it is? Like when you... No, I'm, what am I looking for? Not LLC it. I'm going to brand that or I'm going to name that. Like, I never heard anybody say that or create something like that before, Pisces. Like, you're just like, I don't know if this is something that's coming up for you because I do see this confidence here as someone that is still working on this new direction. But next thing you know, you're going to be that person that can not just start businesses for yourself, but can also help people achieve businesses for themselves. Or, or not just businesses or ideas or thoughts that help to open up new doorways for them. And interesting enough, I do have the seven of cups here where I do see doors opening. It's right below the lovers, Pisces. You can have whatever you want. You can have whoever you want, Pisces. You can have it all. You want love? You got it. You want money? You got it. Your possibilities are limitless. Why? Clear as day. You're not scared. No. It, it is nerve-wracking. I'm trying to say it the right way. Sometimes you can question yourself. It's almost like that feeling that I got when you were younger and you tried to fit in in groups because you thought that's where you needed to be. But something spoke to you inside. It's like, oh, I don't want to be with these people. They're corny. You're, you know, They look at me like I'm the oddball out. But really what I feel like is... They're lame. Like, I have bigger dreams. I have bigger aspirations. I have ideas that are coming to me. I have a certain way that I want to live my life. 
and who I want to become. And I know it's scary and it's not the norm, but I'm willing to take that risk. There's something that's guiding me and talking to me into this new idea or this new direction. So I do feel where your your um, your passions and your love are limitless. This could also be in a relationship. Let's keep it real. This is what it's saying with that lovers right there. This person could do anything for you. This person can help open doors for you. I don't know why I heard that. Have a baby by me now. Be a millionaire. You know, like, I, I don't know. This person may want to work with you. This person definitely, I'm going to keep it real with you. I always do. I really think that they love the fact that so many people jock you or jock your style or mimic you or copy you or you kind of like the leader. You're not a follower. They, they've seen people, there's something that I'm seeing here. It's like they saw this ditzy girl and this girl was so programmable. They were so programmable. They could tell, they're, they're a little bit of a tough one too, Pisces. They can control this person and tell them how to feel and tell them what to think. And I don't feel like it's, yes, it could be a little malicious, but to me, it feels like they were bored and they got bored because this person was easily persuaded. This person was easily controllable. And then it's like, wow, you don't have an original thought you don't do something creative you don't you know have people mimicking you in some way or jocking you like i don't really want to be with that person you're just another plain old jane no offense to all my janes out there i like that name but yes it's an energy you know like there's just a plain old jane there you go again copying someone i'm hearing that from the cardi b i'll slap you and the biatch that you act like yes that's the energy that i'm picking up like you're just copying people. You're not special. You're not special. That's how I'm feeling it. Um, and yeah, I can pretty much like they don't want that. They wanted something that excites them, something that they never seen before. Like they, they like the party that is you, Pisces, the the little quirks and things that come along with being around you. And they like the attention. I'm not going to lie to you. They like the attention that you bring. Sometimes people like that trophy, and you know, like a trophy wife or trophy husband. Doesn't mean that you, it's all about appearance. It means that people follow you. It means that people listen to what you say. It means that people copy you. And I'm getting big copying energy here, Pisces. Let me see. There's somebody here that they try to be happy, and that's why they were trying to control this person. They were succeeding at it, Pisces. They were succeeding, and I don't know how to explain this well. I hope it's coming through. They thought they wanted a certain type of person, like an easily controllable person, until they got bored. Until it got not fun or exciting. It got it got mundane, Pisces. And a lot of people would say, oh, I want a docile person, someone that's easily controllable until they have it for a while and they're never able to to like really laugh or it's like there's an excitement that you bring of you never know what you're going to get. Right. That's that's your energy. You never know what you're going to get. And that's why everyone kind of hangs to their seat watching you something here about hanging to your seat watching you that I'm feeling hold on I don't know if it's this person or someone else but they watch everything that you do Pisces and they see it all make no mistake anything that you post out there or you put out there they got the message they know that somehow it was about them. That's how I'm feeling it. Somehow it was about them. I kind of felt that energy a little bit the other day, yesterday, but I'm still feeling it. Like 
they don't have the the presence or the platform to speak their side of the story and it bothers them a lot that's how i'm getting that i don't know if that made sense and this doesn't just have to be on social media this could also be like in your group of people like maybe you just have a higher status where people tend to listen to you more i don't know that's the feeling all right <clears throat> at the page of wands with the nine of pentacles i think you have been single or will be single for a little while i'm going to keep it real with you i do have the lovers there so don't worry about it pisces you will wind up with someone and i think that's the allure too like nobody could have tamed you nobody can tame you how it's very difficult to tame a person that is so out there in their thoughts in their desires you're always changing like that's the feeling whether it was something inside of you that told you you needed a change or whether it was a forced change there's you, you keep somebody on their toes type of feeling you keep somebody guessing about you it's like reintroducing you keep changing who you are and not in a bad way it's beautiful it's like you keep evolving and this person just finds you or these people because i do feel like you have a presence these people keep loving your evolution and then you have those solid loyal ones that have seen you from the start and from the jump and love the woman or the man that you have become today but yeah i do feel the energy of you being confident enough to know that you can have whoever or whatever it is that you want but it, and it takes a while with that nine of pentacles energy there all right let's see what the outcome is i just love how you just transform into i don't care anymore you know like this is me this is how i am this is the way i live my life it's not for you to understand I don't care if you like you don't like my expressions. I don't care if you don't like what I say. Life's too short to be caring, Pisces, about what people think. And not to say that that's what it is, but you definitely are going to reach a point when it's just whatever comes out of your mouth comes out of your mouth. And, oh, Lord, be careful of who's around you. That's what I felt. All right, Spirit, what is the outcome? King of Cups. To communicate with, ooh, and Ten of Pentacles, yes. Pisces to communicate with you is almost like communicating to the higher ups that's what I just felt and heard people can feel that you have something you have the it thing you have the the light of the chosen type people and, and listen Pisces this is what people get why do you think people listen to you mimic you follow you they know you hear things that are coming from a higher place they can feel it for themselves. They can see it within themselves. You might be very psychic and tell people about themselves without them really sharing too much information. You be, you're going to become a really great communicator or encourager or pulling things out of people, what they could not see within themselves. You're going to be able to verbalize feelings and emotions that they never felt before. And you're going to put it into words. You're going to get that. i just seen it, Pisces. We're like, that's a really good way of putting that. Like, I never heard it that way. But that's a really good way of saying that. No, that's exactly how I was feeling. I just didn't have the words, and those were the words for it. I do have the Ten of Pentacles right next door. I'm, this is generational wealth. This is living in comfort and luxury um, being able to pass on um, stability for generations to come with your family. I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing some form of, I think it's self-help or self-improvement. And you're, it's not just going to be for yourself. It is going to bring you to superstardom and financial stability. Like you're going to make a lot of money, Pisces. But 
you're you're you have a, a self help thing that I'm feeling here. Not self help. Like you're gonna be helping others to to help themselves. Is that the way? Like helping others to help themselves or improve their lives in some way. You're gonna be extremely blessed in the way that your job is gonna be so fulfilling because it it helps you help people and then boom you still make money off of it what's more fulfilling than that i don't think god wants us poor or you know broke like i just i don't feel it especially from this it's like if you're doing good in life you should get rewarded for it if you're helping to improve others life you should get rewarded for it it's just something that comes and again this picture doesn't come without being that abandoned, scared person, alone, you know, not really sure. But you had enough courage and willpower to move and confidence, yes, to, to move in a certain direction that mm, you weren't so sure of. And it might have taken some time and you may have had a lot of naysayers and you created as much as you created a lot of followers and a lot of mimickers and people that copied you, you also created a lot of haters, Pisces, and that's just all part of the territory. Not everyone is going to believe who you are and what you've been sent to do in this world. And a lot of times I just feel like it's envy because they haven't found their own path in life. So that's what I'm getting there. All right, what is the advice for Pisces? Five of Cups. Never forget where you came from. Boom, Pisces. Nine of Wands. A couple things I'm getting here. Never forget who you, where you came from. Not to say that you did. I'm just telling you. Like, I know I didn't. Yes, well, this is confirmation for you. That upbringing, that feeling of loneliness, of not belonging, of trying to fit in, and then realizing, oh, there's a reason I'm different. Never forget that because that struggle also was the thing that helped to propel you into this new place in your life. Sometimes when you're in this energy of wealth and comfort and luxury, whether it's willing or or force, because sometimes this comes with force. Like, okay, Pisces, it's enough luxury for you. Let's time to change a little bit in order for you to start creating some more good stuff again or start, you know, um, being the leader or the chosen person that you are. You know, it's like, it, it, whichever it is, that however it winds up happening for you, it's like these are the moments or these are the things that you can alchemize into you know, there's the saying is making ish into sugar, right? And and you need to show people that you can make a terrible situation and then show people how you transformed it into power. It's like when people go through things in life and then they sing about it. One of my favorite songs is uh, by Kelly Clarkson. Peace by peace. Um, that song, I'm not going to sing it, I'm sorry. Um you know, where she talks about what it felt like to be abandoned, um, to have somebody move away so far away from you, your parent, I think it was her father. And, you know, she talks about how broken that was, but oh my God, what a song that came out of that. And you could feel it, right? You could feel her transformation where that didn't stop her from becoming the person that she was destined to be. It just didn't. Yes, it was scary. Yes, you could feel the pain in it, but that's what God wants you to do. That's what the universe, what spirit, what the angels, that's all we can do with this negative thing. You know, my boyfriend said something interesting. He's been going through his health issues. Like, that's why I'm out here in Naples. And he said he was in the hospital and he said something like, I think God wanted me to go through this for some reason. And I said, no, nope. that was the devil that was trying to make you go through something. But... God will help you walk through it if you're just brave enough and courageous enough to trust him and to keep moving forward. Can't ever give up, Pisces. And I feel this energy of people that, I get it, life gets hard. You know, life gets hard. And sometimes people want to give up. But if you 
give up, you might miss where the ish turns into sugar. There's a show that's coming to my mind where it's like, this is us, right? I loved that show. But um, he, what did he say? He said, there was a man who was about to jump off the building and he was trying to talk, this other man was trying to talk him out of it, you know, telling him all the good points in life, but he, he thought of something really good and he told him, listen, I was abandoned, another abandonment by the father that's coming to my mind, oh my goodness. I don't think this is all your situations, but it could be close. Um, so he was also somebody that was abandoned by his father, left on the fire, like the, the firehouse door as an infant, newborn, actually a newborn, yes. And always had that feeling of somebody didn't want me. Somebody, you know, didn't try for me. Somebody didn't, you know, I, I wasn't desirable. I didn't, you know, you know, like somebody didn't, yeah, I wasn't desirable and I, so he grew up with those feelings. And then one day he found his biological and they reconnected and the beautiful thing is that, you know, he forgave him. Yes, the, the father was on drugs and all this other stuff and, but his life came out so good and, and he had great biological um, adoptive parents, amazing ones. And he saw what was of his father and, and how he was and he was able to have something in his heart to forgive him and the father did and said the right things that helped as well but anyway so he was telling the guy the story to try to prevent him from don't give up yet yeah, I know things look hard but don't give up that miracle that that sugar is like right there you just gotta go through life you can't give up Pisces and I'm not saying that you are it's just something that's coming through like you can't give up not before the miracle happens not before the aha moment as Oprah would say happens so all right let's do career and money I see the worry in that woman's face, but I see that she also got on the bus. Oh, did I do this right on? And all I remember was your back. I made something of myself and now you want to come back. Oh, remember those people, Pisces. Yes, remember those people. That when you were nothing, the way they treated you, and then when you become someone, the way they're going to change, Pisces. Where is that card? Of course, everybody wants to come back when it looks like this. Right, Pisces? Yeah. All right. Spirit, tell me more. Job search. You're definitely in search of something. Insurance in the reversal. And credit repair. I also got follow up here at the bottom. Let's see. Somebody didn't shelter you. Somebody didn't protect you. That's what I'm feeling. And I felt this energy. Like, again, it's not going to be just for everyone the father figure. It could be anybody in your life. They were supposed to have that umbrella over you. It was reverse, Pisces. And I typically don't do these cards in reverse, but it came out that way. So you were always in search of something. You were always trying to fit in. You were always trying. It's almost like let's keep the example of the father. You know, like you were maybe searching for some male role models. Maybe if you were a girl, you tried to date people to, you know, feel that security. But let's keep it real. That they, no one's going to give you security like that. You got to find that security and confidence with yourself to be able to provide and give yourself that love that you never received. But you will, because that Kelly Clarkson song talks about finding something different for her child than what she had. So I do feel the energy of you being a strong person that can manifest um, a different reality, basically, for not just yourself, but for your family. Now, I got credit repair here. 
I have to read this two ways, the spiritual and then we'll get into work and career, but you're repairing something, Pisces, something that you thought was very broken inside of you, something that you didn't think you could do until one day you do it. The best feeling in life, Pisces, is when you're not sure of a situation and then you see that you can do it, you could fix it, and you do it all by yourself. I know sometimes being by yourself and doing things is scary and alone, and sometimes you may ask for help and you never receive it. But I think these are the things that need to happen in your life in order to show you that there is nothing you can't accomplish or do. All right, now let me read this and work. <laughs> All right. Um, again, I, I feel this energy of you maybe not being sure about where you work or what you do for a living. But I do feel like there's a slow progress or a slow repair in it. You may want to find something, Pisces, that provides more insurance for you or more benefits for you. Or maybe you're in search of some type of benefits, Pisces. I definitely feel like you're not exactly where you want to be career-wise. And that's okay. Some Certain jobs are stepping stools to something better in your life. And again, I feel that energy of searching. Like you're never going to be... Either you're never going to be completely satisfied or the universe is going to keep pushing you to, to, to the uncomfortable place so that you can keep excelling and growing. Like I just feel you becoming really good at, um, at the, of the unknown. That's how I feel. You just become so good at the unknown, Pisces. So this might be eventually one of your weaknesses. It might be one of your strengths is to be in a situation and never truly getting comfortable because you know that you need to keep breaking out of those comfort zones once you start feeling comfortable i feel like either the universe or yourself is going to push you into a direction where you need to okay let's let's juggle a little pisces let's let's get a little bit you know crazy out here is the feeling so just keep doing that the, the follow-up is keep keep following up with i don't know how to explain that hold on mm. Keep searching. That's basically it. Keep searching. Keep looking into some new ways to to improve your life. Whether that is your health, whether that is jobs, whether it's at hobbies or activities, it's always pushing yourself out of a comfort zone. That's what spirit is telling me right now. Like you're constantly going to get pushed out of comfort zones. All right, let's do the O shows. That's how you grow. That's how you're a leader, Pisces. Do you think the leader stays comfortable in just one place? No, they don't. They always invent. They, they, you just can't help it. You're not going to be able to turn it off. Like, I have this light bulb here. Hold on. You're always going to have these new ideas. Like, it's almost like something breaks inside of you, and you're just going to have, like, this creative flow and creative juices or ways of making money or ways of, of, of living your life. Like, that's how I get it. It goes from, I'm not really sure, to, like, you know, you just keep creating new things for yourself or changing things. I love a good routine, Pisces. I'm not going to lie. I love a good routine. But I don't know. I just feel like the routine is not time for that, basically. Spirit, tell me more. Breakthrough. Schizophrenia, sorrow. I think somebody feels like you have some type of alter ego. <laughs> I loved it. Somebody feels like you, and you do. Who's this alter ego? Because there's this person, and then there's this person. So I do feel like you have another person inside, and it's not, it's not in the, in the crazy way, Pisces. It's just maybe some person that you've had to create that came out of sorrow and pain in order to defend yourself, in order to get yourself to that buzz. It may seem a little crazy to some people, but it, it's a person or a personality or, a, a, yes, a little bit of a facade, but it is you. You know that you, Pisces, you, you have all the signs inside of you all 12 zodiacs Pisces you are all of them so a lot of times people can get confused how 
one minute you can be you know tough and the next minute you could be cold and the next minute you could be loving and crying and the next minute you show no emotion so people you're like what is wrong with Pisces like who is this Pisces today and it's like you know it's just who you are but I do feel where you had to create some type of personas or personalities in order to get yourself on that bus to keep doing you know to make moves that you one personality might have been afraid to I feel like you protect your child I've been feeling your child self a lot like you protect that child self within you that one that never fit in or belonged or was abandoned in some way and you protect it and the way you protect it Pisces is giving that inner child the things that you did not receive you're being you're loving your inner child it's almost like it, it to me it comes out like the inner child's outside of you and you're nurturing and you're taking care of it that could mean you go to zoos you go to Disney World you uh, get yourself a toy that you really wanted or you're looking for antique toys Pisces from the past and like collectibles and you're starting to collect it that's how I'm feeling it all right Pisces I hope you like the reading please like and subscribe and thank you